Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. I want to discuss two math problems that are generating headlines worldwide because media outlets are saying they are stumping the internet right now. The first problem was given to fifth graders in China. If a ship had 26 sheep and 10 goats aboard, how old is the ship's captain? The second problem was given to second graders in the US. There are 49 dogs signed up to compete in the dog show. There are 36 more small dogs than large dogs signed up to compete. How many small dogs are signed up to compete? I'm going to go over each of the headlines of each of these problems and then go over a little bit of discussion about each problem. So let's start out with the first problem. Here's a sampling of the headlines generated worldwide about it. From the South China Morning Post, 26 sheep plus 10 goats equals a lot of flack over Chinese primary school maths exam question. From RT, 26 sheep, 10 goats, and ship's captain, unsolvable math problem puzzles Chinese students. From the BBC, unsolvable exam question leaves Chinese students flummoxed. From the Washington Post, this Chinese math problem has no answer. Actually, it has a lot of them. And from Newsweek, can you solve it? Bizarre math exam question leaves students scratching their heads in China. So there actually was an official response. They said the question was not a mistake. It was meant to be open-ended to encourage critical thinking. So, how might you estimate how old the ship's captain is? The most sensible answer I saw that was quoted in the BBC comes from someone who's commenting on Weibo. The total weight of 26 sheep and 10 goat is 7,700 kilograms based on the average weight of each animal. Now, I did a little bit of fact checking, and if you type in 26 sheep weight plus 10 goats weight, into Wolfram Alpha, the computational search engine, you actually get 7,700 pounds, which is approximately 3,470 kilograms. So I'm not sure exactly where they got that number of 7,700, but let's just go with it for the rest of the answer. In China, if you're driving a ship that has more than 5,000 kilograms of cargo, you need to have possessed a boat license for five years. The minimum age for getting a boat's license is 23, so he's at least 28, or the ship captain is at least 28. So there could actually be some interesting critical reasoning from this problem, but to give it to fifth graders as a math question, it just seems a little bizarre. And so that's what generated all these headlines around the world. And it's very bizarre that the official answer was that this was not a mistake and it was meant to encourage this kind of critical thinking. So now let's move on to the second question. So there are 49 dogs signed up to compete in the dog show. There are 36 more small dogs than large dogs signed up to compete. How many small dogs are signed up to compete? So this seems like a standard algebra problem, but it also generated a ton of headlines. Pop Sugar reported, the internet is losing its, expletive deleted, over the second grade math problem. The Daily Mail, Mother is left stumped by her seven-year-old daughter's maths homework question, but could you work it out? From the New Zealand Herald, math question for seven-year-olds breaks the internet. From Forbes, this is actually from contributor Kevin Knudsen, who has a podcast, My Favorite Theorem, which I encourage you to check out. He wrote an article, what about medium-sized dogs? So how can we solve this problem? Let S denote the number of small dogs, and let L denote the number of large dogs. As there are 36 more small dogs than large dogs, we have the equation S equals L plus 36. There are 49 dogs signed up in total, so S plus L equals 49. We then take the second equation and substitute S is equal to L plus 36. So we get the quantity L plus 36 plus L equals 49. We can group the L terms, so we get 2L plus 36 is equal to 49. We then subtract 36 from each side, so 2L equals 13, and we divide by 2 to get L equals 6.5.
Now, S is equal to L plus 36, which means S is equal to 42 and a half. But what is half of a small dog or half of a large dog? The answer of 42 and a half small dogs just doesn't make sense. Clearly, they should have made it a cat question, and at least people could have made Schrodinger cat jokes, which could have compensated for the very bizarre answer. Now, Pop Sugar did reach out to the teacher, who responded that the district worded the problem wrong, and it was a mistake. So the lesson here is that math textbooks and teachers are allowed to make a single mistake. You know, in this case, we would have had a proper integer answer for an even number of total dogs signed up for the show. So we don't need to freak out after every single math mistake, but surely people will freak out. So I'll be seeing you the next time the worldwide media goes berserk over a math problem. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon. If you have a topic for discussion or a puzzle, you can email me at presh at mindyourdecisions.com. Also, let me know how you want to be credited by first name and country or however. You can also catch me on social media, either at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Tallwalker.